April 20th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Bear with me, it's about 1 a.m. Central Time as I film this. Uh, we're going to start off with Fukushima as what's becoming the usual. Uh, yesterday, G Gunderson put out a video um, laying out basically uh, what's going on with the reactors. Um, <clears throat> he's saying number three is looking fairly stable, which is good news. That's the one with the MOX fuel. Um, number one is not bad, but it's still having problems with pressure and whatnot. But number two is the problem. Uh, he believes that there is a hole in the bottom of the reactor and the fuel is heading for the water table. So time will tell and we will see what will happen with that. Uh, in typical RSOE fashion, you can no longer find the Fukushima nuclear disaster on their current emergency list. You must push up the map, um, scroll down to Japan, find the Fukushima logo, and uh, click on it to find the details. <clears throat> we were up to situation update number 92. Uh, basically, workers at the Quake Hit Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan are removing highly radioactive water from the reactor turbine building, a key step towards restoring cooling systems, which they say might take six to nine months. So basically what they're doing is um, they're getting set up so they can recycle the water that's already flooding the basements and whatnot um, to continue. Um, <clears throat> that way they don't have to draw any more water in. Um, kind of thing, and uh, c continue to cool the the, the rods and the, the cores that way. Um, they also got another update situation, update number 91. No deaths have been caused by the incident at the nuclear power plant, though the Japanese authorities have ordered people who live near the plant to evacuate because of the danger posed by radioactive particles that have been emitted, emitted from the plant. On Monday, safety officials said that a remote-controlled robots and the workers controlling them have recorded high levels of radiation inside around two reactor buildings at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in northern Japan. And it goes on that these um, robots have been roving around uh, the number one and the number three. And um, <clears throat> they're saying number three's temperature's fine. Um, it's looking a little better um, as far as its crisis situation I think they have number three um, fairly down locked but number one they said they were they they discovered some humidity and they're not sure where that's coming from and again they're still having pressure problems with that uh, reactor so that's about it from Fukushima today um, again not a lot coming out um, I'm smelling a big BP style cover-up on the global scale I mean, the EPA won't even test the fish off of the coast of California for radiation, for Christ's sake. What do you do? Uh, let's go to, let's start with the watchers tonight. Uh, major damage in St. Vincent Island, that's in the Caribbean, from flash floods. Flash flooding in parts of St. Vincent left millions of dollars in damage. Uh, the National Emergency Organization has reported, but the full extent of destruction caused by flash floods has not yet been determined. And again, they've got bridges out and, you know, houses and crops and the works. Extreme solar radiation in Mexico. Two areas of the Valley of Mexico's extremely high solar radiation is recorded, by which the system monitoring atmospheric in the city of Mexico urges the population to use sunscreen instead of the sun. Fires burn across Texas with no end in sight, and again the drought continues and uh, the fires are just crazy. And this has been going on, it says, since April 6th, more than a million acres have burned throughout the state of Texas, according to the Texas Forest Service. And uh, it's just completely insane. Caterpillars swarm over parts of Indonesia. Most renowned Indonesian island, Bali, is under caterpillar attack in the past weeks as a result of the local administration announced a state of emergency. And, uh, let's see, big fire in China. Mountain fire breaks out in East China, spreads towards Mount Tai, which is like a, uh, a sacred mountain to them. And uh, that's...
that's about all they have for today. Uh, over to earthchangesscott.net. Enormous amounts of high level radioactive waste coming from unit number two, reactor and containment are breached. Again, um, this is uh, Amy Goodman. Well, he, she's talking to Arnie Gunderson, which is the guy who just did the video and he's reporting all of this. Uh, U.S. Cruise Battle Fierce Fire west of Fort Worth, Texas. And again, um, just crazy fires, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. California, hundreds of dead fish found in Ventura Harbor. Uh, Ventura Harbor, hundreds of fish have been found dead in Ventura Harbor. This, this is the second largest fish kill in Southern California this year. This time, hundreds of dead fish are floating in Ventura Harbor. Now, you remember the last big fish kill was about, what was it, about a week before the big uh, Japanese quake? Uh, Canada, re record-breaking snow for Calgary. And this was back on the 15th. Calgary smashed a one-day snowfall record on Thursday, breaking a record high that's been holding strong for 110 years. And uh, here at 1 a.m. in Des Moines, Iowa, it is snowing right now. I just came in from outside. <laughs> so, crazy weather. It's snowing in uh, April 20th. New Zealand, Rapau activity slowing but still elevated. Uh, that's the volcano I reported about, uh, what was it, a week or two ago. Volcanic activity on Mount Rapihu appears to be slowing according to uh, data monitored by the GNS Science. Uh, while activity seems to be decreasing overall and there are no data suggests the imminent eruption, the volcano remains in a state of elevated unrest above the, above the typical background level. Um, that's the one they were diverting flights around and stuff. They were afraid it was going to pop off. Uh, tornadoes, flash floods, hail tear through six states. 39 people dead. This was on Sunday. And that was the North Carolina deal. Mississippi River hits 19 feet. At midday, the Mississippi River is 19 feet in the Quad Cities and is projected to hit 20.5 feet by Friday, according to the latest information from the National Weather Service. That would make it the sixth worst flood in Quad City history. And uh, that's some pretty major flooding down there. But uh, they're used to it. Canada, Manitoba. Manitoba suffers from record floods. The Canadian Prairie Province of suffering from excessive water. Worst hit is Manitoba, which recorded one of its worst flood levels in years, causing the deaths of two people and inundated highways. The continuous rise of water levels in the province is attributed to more rain and the cold weather, which has worsened the situation as snow from the Saskatchewan melted and added to the neighboring province's water level particularly the Oapel and Soros Rivers. And again, you know, roads down and all the normal madness. And they've got a story about the damage of the big superstorm, you know, the, the Lando Cane. Dead dolphins and sea lions along the coast of California. Two dead dolphins that washed up on shores of Newport Beach on Sunday appeared to have died from Demoic acid, a poison that can be deadly to large sea mammals and birds. Um, Mike uh, Teague, animal control officer for Newport Beach, said expert, experts at the National Historic Museum were also reporting that dead dolphins have also washed up in Los Angeles County. Well, on Sunday, an additional dolphin washed up at the 15th Street in Newport Beach and another on 61st Street later that afternoon. He said uh, the demo Demoic acid seems to affect male species. The Simpsons includes floppiness, dizziness, and tremors. And the acid can cause brain damage. That's pretty crazy. So, strange things going on in the waters off the coast of California. Over to the Disaster Alert Network. Uh, I'm going to go quick. There are a few things on here. <clears throat> 
get to it. Uh, tornadoes warnings going off in Arkansas, Warning Polk and Scott counties. Uh, again, we have another major storm system rolling through the um, the central United States, uh, the Mississippi and the Ohio Valley. Of course, it's going to roll off to the East Coast tomorrow. And uh, we all know how this system works. And again, here we go again. Heavy rains, thunderstorms, um, tornadoes, the works. Got a 5.6 earthquake on the southern mid-Atlantic ridge. And of course the Japanese aftershocks. Uh, they got the stories on the wildfires in Texas. Mm -hmm. Flooding in uh, Kazakhstan. Flooding in Queensland, Australia. Uh, 5.1 in Guam. Uh, 5.0 in China. The Xing, uh, the um, southern border down in China. <clears throat> I'm not going to kill the name. And of course, uh, tropical cyclone Errol, which is in the um, the Banda Sea, that's in between um, Australia and Indonesia, and uh, that is ongoing. And that is about all I have for you today. Of course, if I forgot anything, please comment below or attach your videos. <clears throat> Until I see you next time. Wow, 12 minutes. Enjoy what you can, everybody.